first stop in Lucknow, and since it is Paul's hometown, I think this will be a major stop. This traveling 18-wheeler gets a lot of attention because it has this beautiful artwork on the side. But when it gets to a location, all of a sudden you see the hydraulics pump out these two expandable walls, and you see the floor come down. You really forget you're in an 18-wheeler, but uh, once, once we're done, it looks like a completely different place in here. Miss Goldhart, who owns Smart Centers, bought the sweater for the purpose of taking it around Canada, right across the country, and letting people experience it. You know, you can bring kids in and educate them about what was going on in the world back then. So that's what really this show is about. It's not only about hockey, it's about 1972 and what the series meant. Whether it be trivia, or the memorabilia they see, or some of the documentary. It's a really neat educational tour, as well as a, you know, a nostalgia tour. Well, thank you for coming out today. Is this any good in Lucknow to start this tour off, or what? Well, for sure. A couple of things about the series. First of all, I would say that we would never have won that series without the people that came over, the Canadians that came over and cheered us on. They were absolutely incredible in terms of lifting us up when we needed it. This trailer in here, I'd encourage you to go around. The Smart Centers have done just a, a tremendous job. There's so much good memorabilia in there. You want to take your time and go through it. God bless you. Thank you for coming. Okay. You get a new story every time someone walks through the door. So that's the really fun part. So the people are coming in and they're reliving this moment that uh, Paul Anderson scored that goal. It's just a celebratory time for Canadians, and sometimes we don't celebrate uh, things enough, but we're going to celebrate this baby. So this is a wonderful opportunity for a small town to have this kind of event here. It's just it's very special for our community. But you also see the floorboards that pop up, so when we're done, all of a sudden this thing gets collapsed right back in, and you almost forget that it's a museum that's going to drive across Canada. We just can't wait to travel across the country, we're visiting small towns, big towns, from, uh, from, from Ontario all the way to BC, and we just, we just can't wait to hit all these different spots.